This is the OAV A405 NC panel saw, 3.2 meter sliding table, 1350 mil on the rip fence capacity, digital readouts on the cross cut. So you've got one on the extension, one on the, well, you've got two flip stops. So you can, you can change between which readout on here. Um, two flip stops with a digital readout and then also a digital readout for the angle of the cross cut fence, which we'll come to in a moment. Uh, the touchscreen operation is really nice. Uh, so you've got your rise and fall, your electrical rise and fall here. I'm sure if you'll be able to see it. There's actually no, there's no blade on this at the moment. There's a scribe blade, but no blade. Uh, you just have to trust me that this is an electrical rise and fall for the main blade. Uh, and then your angle here, and you'll see this moving around like so. And that goes all the way around to 45 degrees, of course. And back to zero, pretty quick. Perfect. Start for your main blade, start for your scribe blade. Uh, this is your adjustment. So it's a programmable CNC rip fence. Get the white light that's gonna turn on and we're gonna press and hold that. And that just goes, uh, that's really quick. Just a little bit more to go. There you go, 500 mil. Uh, so a really quick setting automatic rip fence on this machine. Now you've got the hole for your spindle lock in there. Rip fence, the screen can be moved all the way around to here if needs be. We overhead guard. This has got the flat face on at the moment. The machine does come with a, another angled guard. You can also open this arm up. Like so. And then you'll be able to gain access to swapping your blades over very easy. Lots of room here, uh, so no problems there. Pull the guard back around. Pop this back on. Pull the stop around. Now, I've accidentally just pressed in the emergency stop with my kneecap and we've got a error on the screen and we can go home to clear that and we're all good this side of the machine we've got your scribe height uh, sorry scribe height and scribe alignment to the blade uh, which is very standard similar to the uh all the saws that we retail here's the lock for the sliding table so that is currently unlocked. And uh, I mean, operating this saw is incredible. It, uh, if I just let go of that, it will just keep coming. It glides so well, this sliding table. Um, it almost feels really quite premium. Got a wood clamp uh, with a, another reference fence on the sliding table as well. That's uh, completely up to you if you want to, if you want to use this or, or, or not. Now, the cross cut fence uh, where you're doing all of your accurate cuts. So you've got a digital readout on the extension stop. So we'll loosen that, I'll show you that. So you pull that out. Again, really smooth operation on this one. And you can see that that's going up. Pop that in there. And there's a handle underneath to lock that off. Now, of course, you've got your two flip stops here, digital readout, and you can swap between uh, the readout for each of these flip stops. It's also got a fine adjustment handle on it here. So as you can see, if I start to turn that, there you go. We, we're going up by 0.1 of a mil, uh, which is really nice. So we can loosen that a bit more. Get that out of the way. Now, the digital readout, what we're gonna to want to do with this is you've got three handles that you're gonna to need to loosen. One's at the start of the crosscut fence here, so make sure that's nice and loose. Next one's underneath the mitre guide, so make sure that's nice and loose as well. And then, you've got like a lever this side, so loosen that enough so you can flick it out. And then, with the sliding table locked, it'll be easier for us to do this. There you go, that's locked. And then I can pull 
cross cut fence around and as you can see 25 obviously we can come all the way around to 49 degrees here i'll just pull it to 25 real quick and then i'll be able to show you that you bring it back in so that this metal block is touching this uh, head here and that is pretty much where around uh, zero degrees will be there you go and just lock it off again simple as that back in square just like that and then of course do your front uh, your front handles as well so one at the start make sure that's nice and tight same for the second underneath the mitre guide make sure that's nice and tight and you're uh, you're good to operate again i'll show you the arbor okay so you have to slide the table one way to get access to the main blade and uh, and the Rhyme a knife and then another way to go for the scribe. Uh, but this is essentially where your chip flap is. You've got a 100 mil extraction outlet just down there. And you've also got another one at the end of this hood here. So that's your two extraction outlets. And that can be fed down this arm. So good points for extraction. Magnetic chip flap, and as you can see, there's a sensor down here. So when this chip flap is open, you can't start the machine, which is uh, pretty industry standard for panel saws in the woodworking industry. Uh, but that is the A405NC panel saw, like I say, 3.2 meter, and it feels it, honestly, it feels like a premium machine. Um, heavy duty industrial panel saw. Uh, that we're looking forward to supplying. That's it. Thank you.